Hey folks, this is Alex the eBay guy here at Beckley's Camping Center in Thurmont, Maryland and today we've got something special for you. This is going to be a budget-friendly 2005 Pleasure Way TS Class B van on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. It runs great. It towed a car here for the people who traded it in. It's in really good condition for its age. Everything I tested on it worked except the generator. The generator tries to start, but it doesn't stay running. It's a propane generator. Tire date code on this is 2014. And those are Firestone tires. They still got a lot of tread left in them. They would pass a Maryland inspection. Here's your utility center here for the power and to turn your gas on. That's your suburban furnace, the back of your refrigerator, outside shower. This is your propane fill and your sewer ports. And that, of course, is the gas tank for the Sprinter. So everything is conveniently located right here on the side of the van. Pleasureway really thinks out how they build their products. We sell them new, fantastic Class B vans. Now, a couple things I'll point out to you, depending on your state, that you will have to have uh, done before it would pass inspection, at least for Maryland. You'd have to polish the headlights, and you would need to get a new windshield because it does have a crack here in the windshield that's starting. Got a few minor little chips and everything down there. Has 171,000 miles on it on the Mercedes diesel. Which really, that's nothing for a, for a diesel engine. Leather seats are in very nice shape. No tears or rips in the seats. Lots of headroom here. I'm 6'5". I've got plenty of room in this van. Has an upgraded stereo. Kenwood. There is a backup camera system shot of the dash of 173,374 miles. Now the nice thing I like about the Sprinter van, I'm going to take a quick look inside here. I'm going to go back to the front there. The one thing I like about the Sprinter van, because you sit so high, unlike uh, a Chevy or a Ford chassis, when you're sitting here in the passenger seat, you can literally move your knees like that and walk right into your van. And look at this. Lots of light. Nice light wood cabinets really make it look open and airy. There's all your power controls there. The quality of their cabinet work is fantastic. You'll see in the pictures there's just storage everywhere in this thing. The only one of these that's not storage, this one has the battery behind it and that one has the water heater behind it. All the rest of these cabinets are storage. Got a huge closet over here. There's the table. You've got a 12 volt vent fan up here at the top. Here in your kitchen galley you have a cover that goes over the sink to give you more counter space when you're not using the sink. Put your crock pot or your instant pot there. It makes making dinner on the road really easy. And then in the back, this is where Class B is really shiny. You've got all these windows to see what you've come so far to, to look at. If you're staying in a national park or if you're next to a stream, just a nice mountain view, you can look right out the windows and see it. And we can see that. Luckily, we're in the mountains. And if you go and sit back here, you can see all around you. Of course, then there's our other lots there. So sitting back here in the sofa, we've got a flat screen television there, DVD player above it. That's the suburban furnace. That's the electric button right there to put this seat down. This seat is electric. This cushion here lifts up, 
and there's uh, equipment and all under there. This one lifts up and there are two panels that you can put across here to make the bed bigger. Now, the way this works, when you put it down like this, it's initially made so that two people can sleep here and then you got the center area. If you put the wood across there and put the two cushions down there, you've got a little bit more room. Personally, if it was me, and I'm kind of handy with a sewing machine, I would make a cushion that goes there, and then you've got one big, huge bed. But whatever you want to do, that's fine. If you using this as a touring coach, and you go up to um, New York City or Philadelphia or something, park along the side, uh, you know, in the street, and you want to stay there, you got these nice blackout curtains. Curtains come down, give you privacy, and those are all around. There's also a curtain up front. We'll see that right here. That curtain goes around the front to cut off the uh, people from prying in. And, uh, you know, save yourself $250 a night in New York City. Go out to nice dinner. Spend that $250 on a nice memory in, at, uh, at a good meal or go to a museum or a show or something. Just walk right back to your vehicle and stay in it. There we have a four and a half cubic foot Dometic refrigerator with a freezer on the top. It gets nice and cold. That's an automatic three-way refrigerator. Works off 12 volt, propane or electric, 110. The air conditioning blows nice and cold. The furnace blows nice and hot. Furnace is right down here on the floor, so the heat rises. Over here we have a propane leak detector. Now let's take a look at our bathroom. Here is the bathroom. Lots of room. Again, I'm 6'5". I have plenty of room in here. You even got a window so you can look out. It's got a privacy curtain there. Along the top, if you're taking a shower, it's got a shower curtain here that goes all along the edge. Now, a couple things you will need to do, and the only thing that you really need to do for this, uh, as far as the RV of this goes, this needs to be resealed right here. And at one time, there was a leak right here around this. Um, it's been sealed, but this needs to be screwed back up there. That screw right there uh, is no longer taking purchase, and it just needs a, a, a little bit longer and thicker screw to hold it up there, and uh, then put some caulk around that. And again, this is that solid hardwood that they use is just fantastic cabinetry work on these. This is the 2005 Pleasure Way TS. If you have any questions at all, call Alex the eBay guy 240-405-7790. The number's in the ad.